Hi guys, I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to do an inky uh, custom paw print. So it looks like you dipped your pet's paw print on an ink pad and then put it on paper. And this is really good for cup and tumbler makers or if you just want to hang it on your wall. So first of all, I'm going to start with my dog's paw right here. Or you just get a picture of it. I just snapped a quick picture of it. Um, she is missing a toenail over here. She likes to dig a lot. So once you get your picture, you're going to create a new layer. And I like to use the sketching brush, the 6B sketching brush. And you want to make sure you're a new layer. And then you're just going to trace the paw pad. Trace it where you think it is. This side. Like that. And then do the bottom part. Okay. Once you have that traced, you can turn on you can turn off or delete your picture layer. And we're gonna drag and drop black into our paw print. Like this. And then you're going to duplicate this layer to fill in all the outlines and then combine those by pinching them together. I'm just going to move it to the middle a little bit more. I have snapping turned on so that's why it goes right to the middle. And we're going to create another new layer underneath of this layer. And I like to use my watercolor brushes. So I'm going to go to the watercolor washes from the trailhead company and I like to use the paint runs you can use any of these but this is just the one I like to use and put one underneath of there like that just move it around maybe a little bit bigger right about there and I like to duplicate that as well and combine that and com combine all those layers together and then we're going to create, we're going to alpha lock this layer. And then we're going to go to our brushes. And I like to use the ultimate watercolor from the Trailhead Company. And I'm going to use the watercolor media wash and I'm going to do that in white. And I'm going to just do a big one kind of around the whole paw like this. And then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to kind of add some fading to the corners a little bit so it's not so harsh. We can do this in the middle too or different spots. It's not going to stay like this. Um, right now we're just adding some pressure points and softening the edges. And make sure you add it to your drips and stuff too. And a few of the spots. This. Add it to your edges. Add it to your watercolor spots. Okay, once you're done with that, we're going to go to the selection tool. We're going to go to automatic. We're going to place our pen right on the paw and we're going to go over just enough to where only all the paw, paw is selected. You're going to hit your arrow key and then make this a little bit smaller to move it out the way. And then we're going to erase what we left behind. Let's erase all that. And then take our paw. And put, place it in the middle. Oops. Let me do it. Let's go. Let's make sure everything's erased around there. Oops. Okay. Turn my background color back on. And you have an inky paw print, like if you put your dog's paw on a paw pad. It 
doing the uh, mixed media wash gives it the look like it was an actual paw print and not just solid black and customize this to all your pets and then you can also I like to add name you can add names to it I plan on doing all my doggies but this one's her name's Luna so I'm put Luna on here and place that wherever you want this one right here and this looks a little harsh right there so I'm going to erase part of that I'm just going to make it a little bit more circle. There you go. And then you have your paw print. Um, also, you can go to your watercolor washes. Like this. Pick a color. It doesn't really matter what color. Place it behind there. You can awful lock that go back to your brush. I like to use the dried out brush. Pick a color. And then you can gradient and fade it in and do whatever colors you want to do. I think we need some pink in here. A little bit of purple. And you can customize it with the colors too. And then this is great for cups and mugs and whatever else you want to do it with.